And uh, we, think, uh, we think that the productivity gains are going to be astounding and shocking. Uh, however, those companies who do not embrace this uh, rapidly enough uh, are probably going to lose competitively. So I would be looking at this more, are they going on this offensively within their own organizations? Uh, do they have proprietary data? And then in terms of solution sets, as, as you say, um, these are going to be longer term, right? So Tesla, autonomous taxi platforms, uh, Elon thinks he will launch within the next year. We're, we are thinking within the next 18 months to two years. Um, but the, the difference between AI, which is really the next generation software, uh, and uh, and blockchain technology is the, the that this was a dream in really the tech and telecom bubble. It's taken breakthroughs, cloud computing in 2006 with AWS, deep learning, the breakthrough in 2012, and it's taken cost declines. Costs were way too high until now. We're now uh, ready for prime time for the use of artificial intelligence to increase productivity within organizations and increase profitability. And yes, create new products and services, which will take time. Kathy, you mentioned uh, Tesla. It's a name you and I have talked about before. Do you think Elon is eroding the longer term premium positioning of Tesla by, by cutting prices and just given the competition Look, we heard from GM this week uh, with all the EVs it's coming to, to market with. Do you think more price cuts are coming at Tesla just to keep competitors at bay? Well, I, I actually think it's the other way around. I think that um, I think traditional auto manufacturers are going to have tr trouble keeping up with the price declines uh, that uh, that Tesla's technology is enabling. Um, you know, the secret to success in um, uh, in innovation is dr is driving costs down. Uh, technology follows learning curves. So figure out what that learning curve is. That's a big part of our research. And in the case of batteries, uh, for every cumulative doubling in the uh, number of units produced, battery costs decline by 28%. Elon is on a different battery cost curve decline. He is leveraged off the consumer electronics industry, uh, those kinds of batteries that go into laptops and phones uh, and others, uh, automakers and auto analysts made fun of him in, uh, I remember this very clearly, 2015, 16, 17. He absolutely chose the right technology and I think others are rethinking it now. They, If they do not switch over to this kind of battery technology, uh, they will not be able to catch up with uh, Tesla in terms of uh, price declines without losing money. Whereas Tesla's gross margins are probably going to continue moving up on balance, even as it is cutting prices, because it's un unit volumes, uh, the, the economies of scale are going to be uh, so significant. But the hidden gems uh, that will benefit perhaps the most from uh, artificial intelligence are those companies with proprietary data sets. Now, and we use Tesla all the time as a prime example of a, of a lot of um, uh, technology attributes. One of them is having the largest pools of real world driving data in the world. In fact, it has more of that kind of data orders of magnitude more of that kind of data than all of the other auto uh, manufacturers uh, and technology companies uh, involved in transportation around the world. Uh, and uh, so we believe that it will have, uh, it will be in the pole position for the autonomous taxi platform opportunity, which is a software as a service opportunity with massive margins. And it's also a winner take most opportunity. The company that uh, is able to get a, an autonomous vehicle from point A to point B, the, the, safety, the, the most safely and quickly is going to be the winner. That's going to be the go-to service. 